Hello there, I just thought I'd make a quick video on how the NBN gets to your house. Here they're uh, constructing a NBN node. This is fibre to the node. Now you can see where they're going to put the cabinet there, where that uh, open hole is with the cables uh, and the conduit coming out. It's not underneath that wooden board there, but the cabinet will be about 1,200 high and one to two metres wide. So what you'll have coming into it will be the uh, fibre optic from the uh, telephone exchange. You need mains power, because they're powered, and also to a uh, 100 to 200 pair uh, copper cable. Now the way that it will get interfaced to your home is uh, over in the corner there you can see a silver pillar. Now that's a terminations pillar and that at the moment is on the existing phone, Telstra phone network. So from the exchange you'll have a 100 to 200 pair cable uh, coming up from the exchange then it gets terminated and then uh, gets distributed to all the houses from there. So what they'll do is uh, run a small 100-200 uh, pair cable from the cabinet into that pillar and then chop off the existing um, cable coming up, copper cable coming up from the exchange. Now um, this way is definitely the fastest way to get the uh, system in because you, uh, the hardest part is uh, getting into all the homes, so you're piggy piggybacking on the existing infrastructure here, so it is it is much quicker to get in, but unfortunately uh, it's much more uh, maintenance intensive because uh, A, you've got to look after the equipment inside the cabinet over time, and the batteries, they've got backup batteries inside, and they need to be replaced as well. But the best system, which is fibre to the house, uh, runs fibre all the way from the exchange to your house. Now, it would look similar here. There would be a cabinet, but all it would uh, hold inside are just uh, fibre terminations from the large optic fibre coming from the exchange, and then it would uh, just be an optic version of that silver pillar in the corner. So it requires no power. Uh, it's all just run directly from the exchange, and there's uh, little or no maintenance. So there's the uh, difference between the two systems, and uh, you can see here, put them in now, uh, hopefully I'll uh, find a completed one in the district so you can see what, uh, how big the cabinet is and what it looks like once it's finished.